So the RDL is a hip hinge pattern, so you wanna make sure you move it in the correct spot. The best way to start that out, stand on one leg, the top of your thigh will lead you right to where you're supposed to hinge. When done correctly, you just push your hips back. A good way to practice this, arms extended, actively pushing in, so you're gonna drive your arms straight down into your thighs, keep your hands on your pants or whatever legs, and then slide your hips back where you're supposed to hinge. Keep pressure on your hands. You're gonna go down to mid shin. You're gonna pause there. You should feel it in your hamstrings and glutes, as well as your lats, because you're pushing in. And then you're gonna reverse motion, coming all the way up. Then you squeeze your glutes at top, reverse it back down. What you don't wanna do is be bending in the middle of the back and collapsing like this. You wanna keep a long spine from your tailbone to the crown of your head. So head and chest stay up. You're actively pulling your shoulders back, pushing your chest forward as you slide down and then reverse. So you wanna have a little bit wider stance, so a little outside of hip width. You wanna get in your case, kettlebell, dumbbell, bands, whatever you're using. Overhand grip on this one. So knees go soft, head and chest up. You pull your shoulders back and get them tight. They stay that way. And then you slowly push your hips back and extend them as you go down. Pause the bottom, reverse back up, squeezing your hamstrings and glutes on the way up. Hinge, 